victory or death. Greetings, Starfighter. You have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zur and the Kodan Armada. Get ready, prepare for blastoff. Victory of Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full movie podcast. And today we are going to be watching the 2017 horror comedy, The Babysitter. And today I brought along a very special guest, Jen. Hello, Jen. Hi. So today you have picked uh, the movie for today, which is The Babysitter. Tell us why have you never been interested in seeing this film? Yeah, so, you know, it's a horror comedy, which is my favorite genres, but um, I don't understand where it came from. It probably came from somewhere when I was a teenager, but, like, I just always had this thing against Bella Thorne. Bella <laughs> um, Thorne? Is that an actress? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's in this. Uh, she's, like, the cheerleader on the cover, I think. Um, oh. and, but, but also there's always this cliche about like cheerleaders and horror films and I see it so often. I'm just like, eh, another one. Um, so I just, I just haven't, uh, picked it up. Hmm. Interesting. This will probably be a fresh, a breath air for me because I tend to stay away from anything horror related. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a matter of fact, the first episode for my podcast was uh chucky Mm -hmm. the child's play movie because i did my best to stay away from that (laughs) (laughs) but i don't think this is going to be like the typical jump scare or maybe it could be i don't know but i'm happy i'm not watching it alone (laughs) (laughs) yeah i don't think that I, this doesn't look like it'll be something with a lot of big jump scares or anything. It looks like more like it just plays off that satanic thing because it's what it kind of like says in the, the sub uh, little, what is it? The subgenres? The intro. The, yeah, I guess it's just like something about a satanic cult with this cheerleader and uh, like the kids she's watching. I don't think it'll be like the typical horror movies um, that mm. are all like, you know, um, well, I don't know. Maybe it does kind of bring back to chucky because chucky's a demonic possessed doll right well well listen all expectations so. are low because this is a netflix original Very. film and we talked about yeah. this before how, how netflix we did. they're just so they're such trash I'm, there's no other way Very to say trash. it they're just trash yeah yeah um, they they don't they don't put enough into it is what i feel they don't. And you know what? I've been watching season one of Stranger Things for the first time on my YouTube channel. And I can tell you mm-hmm. that it is the most. Well, I can understand why people hype it up, but it's so mid. And I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to watch the first. <laughs> I tried to watch Stranger Things. Like I've I've attempted to watch the show multiple times. I cannot get through the first episode. I just can't. Well, you know what? I don't think it's anything. I don't feel like it's 80s at all. Yeah. Yeah, they can't... They, 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 they say it's one thing, and it just doesn't feel the way it needs to. Right, right, right. So, you also said you don't like... What's her name again? The actress? Oh, I didn't say I didn't... Oh, uh, the, oh Bella Thorne. I thought you were talking to something else. But yeah, no, Bella Thorne. I, <laughs> she was on the Disney Channel with uh, Zendaya. And I don't know. I just Casey undercover. No, well, I think she was on that, but she was. They were on um the show Shake It Up. Oh, yeah. Okay, didn't know Zendaya was on that. Yeah, yeah. And this like dance show together. Okay, well, there's gonna be so much for us to uh, to talk about. Oh, I totally forgot to ask. (laughs) To to. About your podcast, which I'll definitely oh. put it in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, my, my podcast, TV RPG, I, I recently shortened the title of it uh, because it was really long. And, like, the extra <laughs> words made it sound fancy. It was just um, not concise. So now it's just TV RPG, where we play uh, TTRPG games, mostly uh, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition and we um, craft our campaign story 
uh, based off of TV shows that um, we enjoy. Our current campaign and first campaign is based off of uh, Strange Days of Blake Holsey High. That is amazing. I love that show. Mm -hmm. I've always been interested to play Dungeons and Dragon, but I've just Mm -hmm. never, never had the opportunity. So, Starfighters, if you want to watch this movie along with us, you can watch it on Netflix because it is a Netflix original. So, with that said, we are going to start this movie in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. I I mean, I don't think I've ever had any low as an expectations for a movie than this one. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I know what's his name is going to be in this. Uh King King Batch. You know who that is? Uh I don't. Is it oh, He's like name. a famous uh when Vine was a thing, he was like really famous in that. Oh. Yeah, he's hilarious. Rip divine. <laughs> yeah. Who is this what actor? An interesting. What I think this actor is in Atlanta. I do recognize him. <laughs> what? I don't remember any my school giving any shots for anything. Yeah, let alone like being half naked. Yeah, that's um you know, I always find funny how TV shows try to exaggerate high school, high school life. Yeah, they try to make it seem like it's either the worst or the best like it's just what it is right 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 um i feel like for most people it's just just something that's in between i also can't tell if these are supposed to be like middle school kids or high school yeah what is this movie's already weird (laughs) yeah it's it's gonna go like a weird like like who are these kids because he's dressed like he's trying to look like an older kid and she's dressed like she's middle middle school has to be yeah which i'm pretty sure all these actors are probably in their 20s anyway oh of course absolutely at least (laughs) why are you competing against a child yeah. Okay, so let's talk about Netflix films and why they're in the rut that they are now. And it's because mm-hmm. of films like this. Um, the best way I can describe it is because we were talking about Stranger Things a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. And I heard that Stranger Things was shopped around for our, like every network, right? But nobody mm-hmm. wanted it because it just doesn't fit into this. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't fit into the the niche of what these other cable providers or satellite providers or channel mm-hmm. providers are going for. Yeah. And I feel that's every single film and TV show that you see on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel that. That that makes sense. Because when I think about other Netflix original shows, um, you know... Gosh, what's the name of that one? There was one that Debbie Ryan was in that was so strange. Insatiable. That's what it is. Mm, And it was, it it was like, yeah, she's like a prom queen, but also a murderer, I think. Hmm. It it was weird. And they hype up the, this bullying scene. Like, what? Okay, so I have a... I think one of the funniest things a movie can do, or usually what they do, mm-hmm. is bullying. Because it is so just out of left field. 
Yes. It's so over exaggerated to the point where it's just hilarious to me. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, so why haven't you... What's her name again? Oh, I don't know who this... Be... I don't know who this person is, this woman. Isn't that the cheerleader? No. Oh. No, it's not. Okay. Bella, Bella Thorne has red hair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> well... But, like... Uh... Who is this? <laughs> You're right. Well, I'm I'm asking because I feel like everyone has that actor or actress that they tend to stay away from. Um, yeah. Mine is Emma Stone. I cannot stand Emma Stone. Mm, okay. I don't like everything she does. There's a few things that are okay, but like, you know, I feel that. I think I've seen maybe two or three of her movies that I've liked, and then the rest have just been eh. Yeah, I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. Her face just. I don't. It now, when it me. comes to <laughs> when it comes, no, I I have that, but that is my reason when it comes to uh, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Yeah, I can't. It's her face. She's a. I'm sure she's a wonderful person. I've never met her. I know she's a great actress because she's done then, some amazing movies. Then you I must hate Emma Roberts too. Her. I do not like Emma Roberts. No, they look very oh, similar too because they're related. I just cannot. You hate that whole family then. Because <laughs> I'm sure they got more than one relative <laughs> acting. Well, like I said, I don't hate them. I just can't look at them. <laughs> can't look at them? Well, hold on. There is actually some pretty good emma robert films that i grew up watching i i do know i like i've watched them like i know that they're good i just it a rewatch is what i can't do like i'll give it a chance usually because i know they're both wonderful actresses they do great work interesting well you know what i've had it on my list for the podcast to watch um Pretty Woman, because because I was never in, interested to see that movie. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah. But I know it's like this big cultural piece. Exactly. Yeah. Pretty Woman. What else has she done? Actually, I feel like she's an actress I've always respected, but I never watch her stuff. Same. Like I like ah! I said, I, I re- Oh my god, you oh see my that god. spider. Yeah, I <laughs> that I'm not a spider fan. How can she be <laughs> smiling with that? Oh my god. Why is she just down there? <laughs> I'm like I'm half watching the screen right now. Yeah, I I'm I'm not a spider person. I have gotten a little bit better. Um, because of jumping spiders and how prevalent they've become on TikTok, but Wait, I what? would not be down there. Yeah, jumping spiders as pets. What? Wait, what? Yeah. What does that mean? What? They're, I... they're so no. cute. What? Okay, no. See, I'm not even on TikTok, and <laughs> I will never ever be on TikTok now. <laughs> That shit is crazy. Now, she from is. my general oh. knowledge of spiders, because I do love, mm-hmm. like, I find insects so fascinating. I love mm-hmm. whenever I can hear any facts about them and stuff like that, but I tend to stay away from them. And I know for a fact that tarantulas are absolutely harmless. <laughs> what? Who says that to their mother? Oh my god. I'm sorry. That that was just Yeah. This movie's quite all over an offhand. The place. That was an offhand comment for I'm a, like I'm still assuming he's a middle schooler. He has to be. He's learning he to be... drive. <laughs> he can't be no older than 13. Right? Oh god. Well, actually it's called the babysitter. 
Yeah. So he would have to be at least 13 or younger. Which would make sense, but they're also teaching him to drive. Well, that's fine. You can you can learn how to drive at 13. Well, yeah, well, it depends on the state, but yeah. Well, I mean, you won't be like driving on your own. But yeah, I mean, well, I no, mind no, teaching... but you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? I wish I had a babysitter in high school or middle school. <laughs> <laughs> Just someone to always hang out with? Yes. Just someone to cook me food. <laughs> like, it's like, hey, I guess that you're paid to be here, but let's just hang. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Did you used to have a babysitter? Uh, I had a babysitter until I was 12, and it wasn't, like, always the same person. It was the same person for um, maybe, like, a couple years uh, when we lived in the same place, and then we moved. Once we moved, maybe once we moved because I was 10, I stopped having a babysitter. Mm, I don't think yeah. I've ever, I don't think I ever had an actual babysitter. I think it was always my older brother who would, <laughs> you oh, know, see, like some parents I'm, are just like, yeah, I'm the oldest other. sibling. <laughs> I'm the oldest of four. So I was always the one wow. to watch. Oh, he's going to be up all night if he's trying to watch Mad Men. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what is, why? If I were to advise him, I would say season one is a slow burner a little bit, but it's it's just interesting to watch. <laughs> yeah. What? Don't. Who holds a knife like that? <sighs> Horror movies. Yeah, they, they, they want to put this imagery of this murderous intent into everything. I also feel that this movie was made by college students it like film students that, that are st yeah film students that are still in college yeah and this is like the best thing they've ever done right <laughs> the lighting is very uh noticeable mm -hmm. which doesn't make it good general because yeah. what i do in, in the industry is uh i do lighting on sets and mm -hmm. the general rule mm -hmm. is if it looks uh, noticeable, then it's not good lighting unless it's like it's supposed to look like that. Right. Like if you can tell that the intent was there. Yeah. Maybe it's too much unless like it's one of those like, you know, how in fantasy there's those scenes where the light just all culminates into one piece so that your uh, focus is directed at something. Mm -hmm. That's usually fine. But in something like this where it's supposed to be like just a natural environment. If you can tell the lighting, then that's not great. Yeah, like all of this. It feels as yeah. if it's a music video. It does. It does have that feel. Especially now. I just see, like... Yeah, the, the, the zoom in on him with that gate is like, ooh, this is a this is a song right now. Wait, who is this He's... guy? <laughs> There's no way he's a love interest in a, in a movie. Uh, right? Like, look at... There's n they would not do that. This That's got to be like some kind of like, hey, look at this guy you're never going to see again. Well, in all fairness, if he if he can uh, score a date with her, then that's pretty much yeah. motivation for everybody. Oh, yeah. Probably why the kid is so obsessed. This actress really looks familiar i cannot yeah i i know that i've seen her in so many things i could not place her or give a name right now because i can't think of it this main actress this um the blonde girl mm -hmm. are you getting vibes that she's not a blonde <laughs> I I don't think she's a natural blonde. It definitely does look colored, but I I don't know. There's her eyes are are a bit weird. They they um 
put some. I I think she's supposed to be scary because she does seem a little intense. What was that? Was the camera just nodding with yeah, her? Yeah, it's oh, supposed it's to be like. Point. Some... It's, yeah. It's his point of view. Yeah. It's like, what the heck was that? Um. You know what? This film probably would have had that going for itself if it would have done it like that. I don't think no film has the ambitious to do that. Right. Um, well, I There's say that shows, but you know, I say that I just I just got done reviewing a, a movie that's entirely in first person. That's um, uh, a film noir. It's like you try to solve the murder like while it's happening and all that stuff. Oh, I love that. Yeah. All the way from 1947. That's that's when they did it. Wow. That is impressive. This is so strange. Yeah, this movie is a big music video. There's uh, not much else I can say. Although, again, I wish I had a babysitter, especially <laughs> especially her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my babysitter when I was a kid was the oldest daughter of one of my teachers um, who was friends with my parents. So that was fun. Ooh, she's making pizza. Okay, so I love to cook. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm thinking my next culinary adventure is going to be making pizza from scratch. Oh, it is so good and so easy. Um, almost all bread making comes to the same, like, four or five ingredients. It just depends on how you want it to rise. Oh, so have you done it? Oh, yeah. I've made almost... Oh, there's so many foods I've made. There's even food... I've made that I um, can't pronounce <laughs> because I um, I made this list uh, to help me decide like what we were going to cook. So mm -hmm. it's uh, I took a D20 because, you know, D&D &D nerd. Um, and I have a 20 page spreadsheet with 20 food items listed on it that we roll each week to find out what we're cooking. Mm. And some pages, some pages are just cultural dishes from all around the world. So we get to make some pretty fun stuff. This is weird. Okay. I don't like this actress. She's giving off yeah. major Emma Stone vibes. She is. Yeah. That was very intense. She's very intense. And I think it's the character, but it's very intense. Yeah. And she kind of looks like Emma Stone, too. Okay. Here's here's the vibes I'm getting. Emma Stone mixed with Margot Robbie. Yeah. Well, I guess that's because of the, the blonde. <laughs> well, not, not only the blonde, but her, her facial structure. Well, the facial structure, I would say, is... Emma Stone. Wait, what? Okay, she's like the best babysitter ever. <laughs> it's so, so, what? <laughs> yeah, I stopped making sense of this movie <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> it's so bad <laughs> this is bad but i it still makes me wish i had a babysitter like this <laughs> no no i totally get that because just to have this kind of experience would be so fun yeah this looks freaking awesome to have someone you can just be this ridiculous with this should be a romantic it's... comedy <laughs> yeah <laughs> now i'm like i'm kind of rooting for them but i don't know how old she is so that could be kind of yeah. inappropriate, but <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how old she is. We also don't have a confirmed age on him. I think at this point, in, at this point in time, them not confirming it is supposed to be that way. Yeah, that's just weird, though. Yeah, maybe very weird. maybe it'll come up later and be even worse. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I feel like this actress, to get ready for this role, she just popped in every single Emma Stone movie she could find. Mm-hmm. I see that. But I guess that's yeah. actors in general. Yeah, you, tend you do to, have to do study. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you tend to get hired if you look like somebody and act mm-hmm. like somebody. It's like, hey, we can't afford this one person. You kind of mm-hmm. look like them. You yeah. think you could do it? <laughs> Wait, she got him alcohol? She did. That's hmm. concerning. Not only concerning that she's giving him alcohol, but that she left to do it. Okay. Do you have a feeling that this uh, the spider is going to come back? <laughs> I've been <laughs> thinking worst, about it. At, at the worst possible moment, that spider is just going to come into the living room or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about it. <laughs> Smart boy. Um, that's weird. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this should be a romantic comedy. Yeah. And we don't know much about her. Yeah. He should be into her. Well, he, granted, I can understand why he's into the babysitter. She's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. And also, it's classic, you know, classic story. Kid likes the babysitter. Mm, yeah, again, I never had a babysitter, so I never had that kind of crush. <laughs> I wish. Oh, my God. I dream. <sighs> I dream. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of crushes, who are your like top crushes you've ever had? Like celebrity crushes growing up? Because I have a Ooh, feeling okay. that we're like we grew up with the same <laughs> actors. Yeah. Let me see. Um Okay. First and foremost, uh my earliest one I can remember, Steve from Blues Clues. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to explain this. <laughs> That Do you is... ever watch Blue's Clues? No, okay. We all know who he is. But yeah, I, okay. I feel like you're a minority in that I, crush. yeah. <laughs> so, no, I'm definitely a minority in most of, of mine because, uh, so like him and uh, also another early one, um, Rupert Grint, who played Ron Weasley. What? I... Okay, Love. you tend to go for like the ugly guys. <laughs> I I tend to go for like the dorky nerd mm-hmm. who's like sweet and like no one else really cares about. Exactly. That's like that's like my person. I've also got a big thing for redheads. I married okay. one. So. Okay, okay. But then perfect. Okay. So I had the biggest crush on Hillary Duff growing up. Hmm. Huge, right? Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. So that means yeah. you must have been, had a huge crush on Gordo because that's what he I is. Did. I did. Oh. I fucking loved him. Yeah, he's a super geek. He's an uber geek. Yes, one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, Hillary Duff. I was really into. Who else? You know, I'm not gonna lie. I had a I had a crush on Emma Roberts too when she did Unfabulous, that Nickelodeon TV show. I remember that show. Yeah. That was like right around the same time as um, Nez Declassified. Mm, I had a huge crush on Moe's too. I I, I liked Moe's. Wow. Okay, oh, this look, is highly inappropriate. Is. Yeah. You don't invite this. people over while you're babysitting. That's Bella Thorne. Okay. You know what's crazy? I was actually listening to the song last night. <laughs> the song that's playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Bella Thorne. Why do you... She's so a redhead. I... Yeah. She's... I think she's also in like another big show that's 
maybe I don't know. I I know she's in something else right now, but um, I just I think it was some at some point in early high school. One of my friends, um, it was right before Bella Thorne like got on Disney Channel and everything. One of my friends was actually in Florida doing auditions like over the summer mm-hmm. and was like auditioning up against Bella Thorne. And because my friend like didn't get it, like we just all like had a shared hatred of her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's solidarity. <laughs> <clears throat> Bella Thorne. Is that one word or two? Like, Thorne is her two. last name? Uh, yeah, with an E at the end. Okay, Bella and Thorne. Again, I've never had a babysitter like this. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you didn't have high schoolers partying it up in the living room while you're supposed to be asleep? That was no. not a common experience for you? No. I'm willing to bet most people's high school experience were just home alone, high school night, watching Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> for me during high school, it was Doctor Who, but yeah, no. <laughs> so that's King King Batch, this guy. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I recognize him. Yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of chapstick, my friend. That's literally me right now. If Hillary Duff was going to kiss me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm okay either way. <laughs> Yeah, all these actors look okay. familiar. Yeah. I think this might have been one of those movies where they're like, hey, we've got a thing that we're going to do. Let's get a bunch of like notable people of this time right now mm-hmm. and put them in the same movie. Who is this guy? We're just going to call him Gordo. He does look like him, though. Mm-hmm. He, he has the hair. But he doesn't have, I don't know, the aura. No. Gordo was a filmmaker. <laughs> he was. He was a filmmaker. He was like, I'm going to record. This. Like, he he worked that camera. He, he mm. Oh, okay. So did before. you, like, hear that they were going to bring back? Lizzie McGuire, and then they just didn't. I did, and then they said no because uh, they they there was like this controversy. I think um, they wanted to do something about um, I know it had something to do with uh, what was it? Like both both the, um, Gordo and Lizzie, right? Yeah, they were both going to be in it. Um. I know the the woman who plays Miranda wasn't going to go back. Um, Where did she get the knives from? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, okay. The I mean, I, I said what they said, but yeah. <laughs> I love how he's still screaming. <laughs> <laughs> How is he still right? Oh, because it's vlog. <laughs> he said this shit leaking. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there's holes in his head. <laughs> okay. Oh, awful. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm going to look up this Bella Thor lady. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, my God. Bella Thor. 
Stella Thorne. Wait, no way. She's really young. Yeah. No way. I thought she was like, she looks a lot older. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I can't miss the murder. <clears throat> She wants to go viral. She says she Anyone can go viral. viral. But she says she wants to go viral because of the human sacrifice. Like, what? <laughs> what? There's some weird shit going on. <laughs> She's also a music artist? Yeah, she sings. Huh. She had this one song on Disney Channel. You know how they do like their Disney artist songs mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, that the name of the song was literally just a bunch of letters because it was like a bunch of acronyms. Mm. Um, and she is she is famously dyslexic. Oh. So the it, it's I, it's just a, kind of been a running joke. Like how dare Disney. Like, after she does this whole, like, public speaking about being dyslexic, give her this song that's, like, LMAO, just, like, a bunch of letters in a row, just, like, constantly. Like, how right. dare they? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, she's done a lot of stuff. Oh, apparently she's in the sequel. Oh, well, I guess that's kind of a spoiler, huh? <laughs> there's, there, there's a sequel? <laughs> yeah, there's a sequel to this. Oh my god. You then mean when you type this, it in on, on this... Netflix, it's like right there. Yeah. Yeah. You mean you this movie did well enough. <laughs> well, that that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Netflix will agree I... a sequel or a second season yeah. without even knowing how the first season did. Yeah, I honestly Yeah. Now I will say there is one show that I've watched that's I, I believe it's a Netflix original, but it might just be that they put it on netflix and nowhere else it's a kid show though called centaur world hmm, i think i've heard of that it, it's a piece of art i have a toddler so we watched it but honestly it's not meant for toddlers i don't think it should be in the children's section um because mm -hmm. it's got some it's got a few deep topics that it covers but it's mm -hmm. like it's a musical show and it's strange uh I love it. It only got two seasons though, and they stopped it. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the trademark of Netflix. Two seasons mm -hmm. and you're gone. Yeah, every now and then someone gets three seasons, mm -hmm. but mostly two. Oh, yeah. So this is why we were like, at the very beginning, he hates needles. Here's a reminder. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a normal fear. Yeah. What's, what's, your, uh, what's your biggest fear? Oh. If you want to open up to the audience. <laughs> yeah, no, it's totally. I, I'm pretty sure that heights is, is my biggest problem. Really? I'm a short person. I'm only 5'1". And I've always had a problem with heights. Like, sometimes I'll get too high on a stepladder, and it's too much for me. You know, I always find it funny when people say heights. Um, yeah, heights Heights don't do, do anything for me. Mm -hmm. I like heights. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, there's, it's not even, cre I don't even think it's, a fear that I've had my whole life because I know for a fact that when I was maybe like early elementary mm -hmm. I didn't have a fear of heights yes because when I was in when I was in kindergarten I sold like so much chocolate that I won a ride in a hot air balloon hmm. and I did that and I was fine like I didn't have a fear at that time like I know it was great 
I don't know where I don't know where it came from this fear of heights I feel the same way about insects Mm -hmm. because as a kid I'm like I'm all for it (laughs) right but then growing up I don't know what happened but like my biggest fear now is like anything that has more than two eyes I cannot look at hmm yeah yeah I cannot get that I have trouble looking at at things in their faces if they've got a face (laughs) oh hello (laughs) yeah she came out of nowhere yeah, what an interesting film this is. Uh, I think we can all agree yeah. that this definitely wouldn't make it on any other platform other than Netflix. Yeah, I. This is one of those things that is like meant for you to like pop on and then go about your day, or even just like have um, one of those. Let's watch a bad movie parties. I hate to say this to you, but I'm kind of developing a movie crush on Bella Thorne. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's totally fine. I get that she's attractive, because she is. I want her I to just... be the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she is in the second one. <laughs> I have to watch the second one. <laughs> I don't I don't know what it is about this Bella Thorne. But she intrigues me. Mm-hmm. I wonder how she lost the uh because you know, some actors they don't audition for the the lesser roles per se. Mm-hmm. They usually go for the starting yeah. roles and then the directors are like, Yeah, you know what, you kind of feel you'll fit better in this role. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay so let me give you a, a a theory of mine about horror movies sure yeah so i don't like horror movies i don't watch horror movies uh, as a kid i used to be afraid mm-hmm. of horror movies but now as a as an adult I, I i stay away from horror movies still but i'm not afraid of them anymore and it's because mm-hmm. i feel that these horror villains including this one right here mm-hmm. uh chucky uh any 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 horror, horror villain you can name i feel that they all love black people mm. and that's why i don't fear them because they mostly just kill white people <laughs> yeah and for me I being a that. black male mm-hmm. i just think that you know they're on my side so there's no reason to fear them. Yeah. I, I I am so perplexed right now by the way she's holding these knives in her back pocket. Because the blade is up. And like me, I would reach back and just cut my hand right open. Oh, yeah. But I get what you're saying. There's a lot of horror movies especially older horror movies just like we've just gotta murder all these people exactly I like i like i've always liked horror movies i don't know why i i think it's just i don't know i grew up watching like the child's play films like i watch those for fun i think those are hilarious well when i first watched it i thought it was gonna be terrifying but it's so goofy it's so goofy. It's because of the time when it was made. Like, it's it's so sincere for the time. But going back to watch it now, it is hilarious. But one of my favorite horror films, I wonder if you've seen it, is The Cabin in the Woods. 
Oh, I've heard about that. Have you seen it? No, hell no. <laughs> okay, here's here's the thing though. I actually think it would be a wonderful one, especially for you to do um, for your your podcast here because it's it's probably one of the best horror movies of our time. Well, the Yellow Power Ranger from Power Rangers Lost Gap. No! Oh my god! <laughs> no, my babysitter! <laughs> Jesus. This went from zero to a hundred real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's that's what we got to be worried about right now. This guy. That's not how it works. <laughs> Mm-mm, not at all. What are they doing? Check on Bellathorn. <laughs> wow. All clear? I would imagine it's all clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, as far as right now, the only person in this movie that <laughs> would get the truth out of me is Bella Thorne. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all got her over there in the corner on the ground. <laughs> I really hope she's okay. <laughs> Ten four. In another life, like, you would uh, be. They're like, whose <laughs> voice is this? <laughs> Not the boob. Someone help her. <laughs> okay, so out of all the babysitters, who would you want to actually be your babysitter at like 13? Out of this group? Yeah, out of this group. God, you already know my answer. Group. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know this other girl's name the one with the beret i love a beret honestly love the style of a beret that'd be enough for me to be like i like her style let's hang out yeah i feel also like she her has eyeliner. Great... Oh, okay yeah i feel like she has like great musical taste mm -hmm. oh, what the... that's your oh my god <laughs> What is going on? Oh. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> the fact, the fact that he, <laughs> I laugh when he was on the way down. He hit the stair. <laughs> yeah, he 
hit the stairs and then like the wall and then on the table <laughs> and then the trophy. <laughs> Oh, well, at least at least the token black character wasn't the first to die. I hate to say it, but it, it seems like the majority of these deaths is on this kid. Because, like, if he just left it alone. That's true. It, there there would have just been, like, one death. Which was going to happen with or without his intervention. Why does he... Why would you scale down a building like that? <laughs> yeah, you already know that there's not enough fabric. Yeah, just slide down. At Dude, this the point, just the... break your leg. Yeah, the fall is not going to yeah. kill you. <laughs> that guy will. <laughs> now it might injure you so that you can't like get up and run away. Got to take your chances. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to watch the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, Bellathor will be the babysitter. And then we can just see like the first 20 minutes of her babysitting, being a cool person. <laughs> they, then, uh, they're just like a chill, chill person to hang out with. Oh, look, another body. Wow. that's what I There's up. another one? Who oh, that? No, that's the first. That's the first oh. guy they killed. Oh. They just like left him there. No, oh, that's nice. Huh. Yep, touch him. Put your fingerprints all over the body. Yeah. All right. So we get a MacGyver or something. Yeah, what would you do in this situation? I don't even know. Like, they've killed cops in front of this kid. And, oh, don't go down there. There's a spider. Oh, my God. <laughs> the moment you said that, I literally had a jump scare to myself. <laughs> my, my eyes would be closed throughout this entire scene. <laughs> yeah earlier was definitely foreshadowing oh my god you have there no freaking there... idea there it is is it oh, there no. i'm not looking oh, at god. the screen i'm, I'm literally no. not looking at the screen no. there's so many of them oh my god thank god i'm lit my eyes are literally away <laughs> There's like, there's one on his shoulder, or there was a second ago. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, like, I, these are big. I don't like these big ones. Yeah. I'm not even looking. He's, I can't, I can't look. He's just like, got a blanket. He's planning on just staying there. Yeah, fuck that. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me, please. <laughs> it's like, just take me out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, the God. first death seems blissful <laughs> compared to this. <laughs> yeah, so I've actually... <clears throat> crazy story. Well, I guess it's not a crazy story. I've actually worked on a horror movie years ago where the plot is about a spider. Wow. It's about a little girl who can talk, who can talk to spiders, and... The crazy thing was, I didn't I didn't really know what the story was or anything like that. And normally, like when you every day when you go on set, they e email you a call sheet about like what's going to happen today and all this stuff. Right. Literally on the email, the first thing you see is the title of the movie and a picture of the spider. Wow. Like, why would they do this? <laughs> <laughs> they want to remind you what the picture is here. It was an absolute nightmare for me. Like, on the set, there was literally... It was, like, all different kinds of spiders. And it was, like, they were stuffed. What? Okay. Absolute crazy. Is there, Are there still spiders? Because I'm still looking away. 
Oh no, there's there's not at the moment, but they, he is still like under the. Oh, okay, never mind. There's one. Okay. Um, See, I'm not. <laughs> if I would have looked, <laughs> there wasn't. There, I, there wasn't I literally for like a never solid minute. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there wasn't a spider for a solid minute. And as soon as I started to tell you that there wasn't any more, then one showed up. Okay. <laughs> Like, it's like, technically it's not on screen, but it's like through the blanket. But it would make sense that there's still spiders in the scenes because he's under the, um... Oh my god. Okay, so did you ever... House. Did you ever hear a show growing up called, um... Uh, what is it called? Um, oh my god, what is that show called? It was like on Disney Channel and it was about like a group of kids being in EMT drivers. In a heartbeat. What? In a heartbeat. No, I have never heard of this. It's like a Canadian show, but it it also came on like America too. So it's it's about huh. like a group of high schoolers, like seniors, and they're certified EMTs, which is wow. not far fetched because in Canada they said that you can be seventeen years old and pass the tests and training all that stuff, and you can legit do that. Yeah. So the reason why I bring it up, they had an episode where there was this spider museum and they were transporting all these freaking tarantulas or whatever. And the truck literally flipped over, broke down, and it, all the spiders got released into the neighborhood. Oh my God. I would literally, like, I, that would not be my Burn home. Burn the anymore. neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Burn the neighborhood. Nuke it. Oh my please. God. No, absolutely not. Okay, I can assure you there are no more spiders because he just blew up underneath his house. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm still he's looking not away. Even... <laughs> yeah, he's not even he's not even under the house anymore. Like he shot off that freaking rocket thing he had and blew up the girl with the beret under his house. Okay. Oh. So I'm he's probably killed off all the spiders that were down there. Oh my god! Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. No. <laughs> is there one is there one on his back? Oh, I hope not. I feel like I saw something. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Damn it. Now I can't even look at this movie. <laughs> hey, as far as you know, Bellathorn's still alive. Okay. All right. I'm looking. I'm looking now. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that would be a natural reaction. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, this is a bit off, but whatever. I'm just happy the spiders are gone. Yeah, spiders gone. I don't think we're gonna have to deal with that anymore because that was that was a good several minutes of like constantly they were everywhere. And you know what? Another movie I have pride myself in avoiding in all my life mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. that spider movie, Ar Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. Yeah, I have never watched it because. Like, for a long time, I've just said I've had arachnophobia, but, like, like I said, I learned recently more about jumping spiders because they're super small and they're oh my God. actually that sounds apparently horrifying. <laughs> they sound it, but they're actually, like, really smart, cute, and they're very docile in nature. Like, they just, they, they're just uh, investigative and they don't bite. They just, they want bugs and they do, they want to just, like, hang out and that learn sounds shit. Sounds fucking horrible. No, no, they're super absolutely cute. not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Wait, why is he here? 
Yeah. I feel like this. <clears throat> out of all the characters, I feel like this this kid would definitely have a bedtime. Oh yeah. What is he quoting that movie? I think so. From earlier. <laughs> Oh no. Ugh. Yeah, that just happened. Wow. Yeah, where are the cop cars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I also feel like this is one of those things that movies do where they're like no one's going to believe you. Like I don't feel like just everybody makes this shit up, you know? I mean, I don't believe them, honestly. <laughs> Usually if someone tells you, "Hey, somebody killed somebody and I saw it," they should probably believe you. goodness yeah i don't i don't see what the point of this movie is I mean, what are they trying to teach me oh no <clears throat> okay, so the Asian girl died. Right? Oh, <laughs> okay. I totally lost Jin. <laughs> okay. I think I'm reconnected now. What happened? <clears throat> Alright, it's just me in this movie now, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. No, no, I, I'm... I'm back. My connection was fixed. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I was just saying, I'm like, oh, okay, we lost Jen. Let's hope oh, no. to God so I can sense that there will be <laughs> spiders and I will miss it. No, 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 don't worry. <laughs> I, I will be your spider watch. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I was just saying, so the Asian girl died, right? Yeah, yeah, she, um, so he had lit that firecracker, or the, like, rocket thing, I guess, um, mm -hmm. and shot it out at, towards her under the house. She had her hands caught in some mouse traps, and so while she was oh. trying to, like, chase him out, he, like, drilled the thing closed and then sprayed it with bug spray and made it explode. Okay, so she's dead. The black guy's dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the blonde babysitter's still alive. Yeah, as far as we know, she's still alive. We didn't see Bella Thorne fully die, so I'm left to assume she's just, like, in there screaming about her boob. Well, she's um, gonna be in the second one. <laughs> yeah. So... And then this guy. Yeah. Well, I have a Who's... feeling his death scene's coming up. Yeah, I feel that. Also, it's just... Now his hands are sticky, and so I feel like that is gonna be... Wait. What? Why? He touched his face with the eggs. Oh. Oh, okay. How about to oh. say, like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. See? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, then. How? <laughs> What a weird horror. Yeah. Oh, there's... Okay. This is what the movie should have been about. Him trying to come <laughs> over to his friend... His female friend's house. Right? Finally, we're getting to the plot. 
Yeah. This is this is the real movie here. Listen, no <laughs> one's hating on you for having a babysitter. Yeah. There are plenty of adults out here that wish they still had a babysitter. <laughs> I think there's just uh, one particular babysitter. <laughs> right. I would kill to have a babysitter right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when I'm supposed to go to bed so I'm not sleep deprived. <laughs> The day after. I mean, somebody could tell me. I still probably won't be able to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a night owl. Same. Ooh. And I have a toddler who is also a night owl, so that's fun. Mm. <laughs> Babysitter's got a gun. <laughs> <clears throat> Terrifying. I'll tell you what, after this podcast is over, I'm just watching the first five minutes of the second one because I just want to see if. <laughs> Gotta see, see where it's going. Yeah, I just want to see if Bellator is going to be the, the babysitter and if we're going to get. Right. Like a few minutes of her babysitting. Because I feel like the best part of this movie is seeing the babysitter actually babysit. Yeah, like being the babysitter. Yeah. That was definitely, like, I wouldn't say it's, like, the best part, but like, it's definitely the best part of this movie. I just mean, like, it was definitely better <laughs> in, like, such a goofy way. What's What's been the best part to you thus far? Definitely the beginning when they were all goofy and shit, but, like, the way that it led into the murder, it was yeah. so jolt. Yeah, it's very random. It just doesn't feel that it's what it is. Mm-hmm. This they they made a lot of choices with, <laughs> with this movie. <laughs> Again, it feels like a wrote... feels like a college college film. Yeah, yeah. Every, and every person wrote... on set was a director. <laughs> yes, every every single person. And again, with the lighting that we see here. This actress, too. She looks like... Um, who does she look like? She looks like that actress from um, Kick-Ass. You know who I'm talking about? Uh, I know who you... Uh, Chloe Grace uh, Moretz. Yeah. And then also a little bit of the Fanning sisters. Yes. Look at that. He's regretting everything now. He's like, I should have been over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a yeah. what an interesting thing to say. <laughs> Wait, she said just because she's a psychopath, not all women are evil, right? Yeah. Well, that's true. Because Bella Thorne exists. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening right now? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> this is such is a this? weird tone. <laughs> but you now he feels un invincible now. Yeah. It's like, look, I've been kissed. I can take on a babysitter. <laughs> okay, cleanup crew, A plus job. She's a babysitter. <laughs> the best in the biz. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta cover up the murders, you know. This is definitely a uh, 
I want to say like a party movie. You got to watch this with a group of people. Yes. Yes. This is this is one of those movies where you um, <clears throat> might even make like a drinking game to go with it. Right. Yeah. Group of people Any- or if you just love this type of genre, I guess. Yeah. so weird yeah now it's like in black and white yeah i was i think it's a, that kind of goes back to all those oh okay no oh. <laughs> is she dead though no. i have a feeling she's just gonna like pop up stop him gets a zero <laughs> just check her post you don't gotta Like, even if you thought she was dead, like, why would you get that close? Right. (laughs) 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 That's, wait, that's, like, literally me as a kid when my parents are seeing if I'm asleep. Yeah, right. Okay, punch, punch. (laughs) (laughs) What? What? This is like my biggest fear. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is actually the thing I'm afraid of the most throughout high school was the, my crush coming up to me and just exposing me in front of everybody. I know you liked me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely the worst. That's that's the real scare of the film. <laughs> Absolutely. Whatever makes you get in the second movie. Right? Oh, goodness. She. Oh, my God. All right. Well, regardless, you know she's in the second movie. So. Oh no. Yeah, we we definitely needed a flash a flashback of that. <gasps> what is going on? <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness. I am just very (gasps) No (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think she's dead now. (laughs) I think she's dead. (laughs) Damn it. Um, Wow, those first five minutes of that next movie are going to be interesting. God, I'm not watching it. I'm not watching it anymore. The only way she's going to be in there if it's a flashback. I'm not watching it. (laughs) 
She's like, not wow. the book. <laughs> no, not the book. I just have to say, I see how short her shorts are, and I know that's not comfortable to wear. So, it's just unrealistic. <laughs> I mean, that, and she's like a toothpick. Yeah, also, how is she not covered in blood? Like, everyone else covered in blood. How is she squeaky clean? <laughs> no, he, he, he he didn't ruin it for you. He didn't ruin it. That's nah. That's the thing about Mad Men, what makes it engaging. Everyone is so yeah. unlikable. <laughs> but you're rooting for I mean, Don yeah. Draper to be a better person. What a way to change the tone. <laughs> That's what this movie truly is. It's such a, a tone changer. <laughs> yeah, just like constantly. Each, I want to say each character, like their kind of arc for when they're like getting ready to die. The tone changes immediately. Yeah, and it's so drastic. I want to know who directed this and what what are they doing now? Cause this is not. <laughs> yeah, because this this has been out a few years, seventeen, yeah. almost five <clears throat> years. Yeah, five years. MCG. That's the name they go by. What? That's yeah. like an older type guy. Really? The director, yeah, the director was born in 1968. Goodness. Like, there's no way. Let's see. He's done... Holy crap. What the freak? He's actually directed some pretty good movies. <laughs> <laughs> what what did what happened here then did he just let everyone else make choices he directed the both charlie angels movies wait wow those We're, are those are good though right uh we are marshall but okay yeah which is an awesome movie yeah and well i guess that's that's that from like when it led up to 2017. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this mm -hmm. is really. Wait a second. He was. He was a producer in the movie Stay Alive. Have you seen that movie? I haven't. It's. um. Yeah, this is like Disney. Disney's only horror movie to date. Oh, wow. This. <laughs> Now, now it's the actual music video. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish growing up my crush would look at me like that. <laughs> Oh, that's sick. What is... <laughs> I don't know, just maybe just because this song is just amazing, but I love this scene right now. <laughs> it's a great song. I love the song. Queen anything is great. 
Oh, wow. I'm totally putting this on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Just that scene in itself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. And now Holy. it's all red. I think, I think that's probably where half the budget of this movie went to. Just licensing, licensing yeah. that song. Oh, yeah. Is he going to explain all this to his parents? Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of interested to see who the next babysitter is going to be. (laughs) (laughs) Intergalactic dream team. Who's yours? I have a feeling you're into sci-fi. Which, since you love Strange Days. (laughs) I am. Yeah, I, it'd be really hard for me because I'd have to, I have to consider so many things. So, hmm. Oh, that's a good. Gosh, Eddie. He he actually listed a pretty good squad. He did, um, until the end there. Yeah, well. (laughs) Well, I mean, <laughs> it would be me and, and Bella Thorne. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't yeah. mind that matchup. I, I definitely have at least two iterations of the Doctor. Um, <laughs> Doctor Who? Yeah. Okay, so I recently just did a podcast when we watch, uh, me and my guest watch Thor, Love and Thunder. Mm-hmm. And my guest was talking about how much she loves Doctor Who, and I could not mm-hmm. get into it at all. It really depends on where you start. Um, honestly, I had to start with um, New Who, not the the old stuff. I've gone back and watched some of the older ones. Not I the like newest one. With... No, not the newest one. I've started. I started with like Christopher Eccleston, who everybody skips, and I don't feel that does justice to the character of mm. the Doctor. I think that's where I started and I did not like it. <laughs> yeah, it it does pick up after I think the second season with the newer stuff in in my point of view. The reason why I started watching it was an episode came on and it was I remember exactly what episode it was. It's called um of is it blood and something? It's it's of blood and something, but I remember it so vividly that it was it was like Victorian age, but it was like aliens, but they were hidden. And it was so interesting to me that I was like, okay, if I'm going to watch this, I have to start at the beginning because I'm not, I, I need to know who these people are. And while that doesn't help with Doctor Who, because every mm-hmm. episode is so different, it still helps me understand who the Doctor was that put him in these situations. Interesting. Yeah, I just I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'll try to get into it later in the future. Yeah, I get it. It does take time. Wait, is that this her dad? Is... Yeah, that gross guy from the beginning. I okay. I thought that was someone. I did not know that was her dad. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> What? <laughs> he hating now. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, nah, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what a weird... He's I'm loving covered this, this in musical blood score in the background. Smoke. Yeah, I can I can like faintly hear it and it's so it's nice. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what an ending. Ooh. This soundtrack is all over the place. <laughs> it is, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's the movie. That's um Yeah. I kind of don't know where to go from here. <laughs> well, right? I don't know. Like I don't uh Interesting. Is there an after credit? There's an after credit scene it looks like. Is there? Yeah, or a mid credit okay. scene at least. <clears throat> okay, well, but <laughs> we'll we'll continue to talk. So after when the movie ends, the the point of the podcast is to have an appreciation for the film you never care to watch because mm-hmm. this is somebody's favorite movie. I'm sure. Yeah. So Somewhere. With, yeah. So with that said, <laughs> tell me your tell me the score that you would give the movie your overall thoughts and what can you appreciate about it um so when you say score are we talking out of 10 out of 5 how how else would anyone rate rate uh, a movie like score oh i just i just don't know how you do you do five or do you do 10 i do 10 okay i don't see how people do fives yeah that it's just limiting i so this wasn't horrible it just like i could stand to watch it again i just probably wouldn't um (laughs) i'd I'd probably give it like you know five to six out of ten like because you know it does have those really nice comedic elements and uh i definitely would not categorize this as a horror Um, no it's not it's oh my god Wow! <laughs> the moment you said that, the jump scare happened. <laughs> the only jump scare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely would not call this a horror movie. It was great, hilarious. Um, little too many spiders. <laughs> um, way one too many. Absolutely one too many. Too many spiders. <laughs> <clears throat> so what's your appreciation for it? Um I'll say this, I definitely appreciated the like um the artistry of the characters themselves, I guess, cuz each character was so different. Mm-hmm. Um so that they when they played off each other, you know, like we discussed how the vibe just changed. I I thought that was really nice. It it gave them the film some movement. Hmm. Um, after finishing watching Thor Love and Thunder I'm Mm -hmm. so shocked to say that this is a way better movie than that (laughs) (laughs) I haven't seen I I don't really watch um, the Marvel films so I've seen a few of them yeah I they're, they're just not my thing superhero films and like action movies just have never been my thing they they usually do too much in the action part and not enough in the story right that i just can't exactly exactly uh this film for me was uh well it was all over the place okay so i actually <laughs> think that the first act mm-hmm. was not bad i think yeah. just the directing of it was very unusual and very inconsistent but it wasn't mm-hmm bad yeah Uh, it was a little choppy yeah the the second act the middle of the entire film is absolutely just i wouldn't watch it i wouldn't watch that again yeah (laughs) the third act is actually not that bad either like it's just funny yeah there's Mm -hmm. there's queen queens in it (laughs) (laughs) um yeah i mean if it feels this feels like a giant music music video in a commercial. Yes. Um Yeah, something that you would watch all the time on YouTube just mm-hmm. randomly, but yeah, um I don't even know what I would score it. I mean, scale 1 to 10. Uh I'm going to give it a 5. Yeah, why not? A 5. Yeah. Like right in the middle cuz like you know, it's not bad. It's not great. It's just, you know, this this was a thing. It could have been way better. It could have been, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I I think that there are. It it definitely came from the directing of it that I think I think that I don't want to hate on the director. I just feel like it could have been done in such a, a way that made it better. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, Bella Thorne could have been in more of it. <laughs> <laughs> She could have been the babysitter. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, <clears throat> I'm not talking about her looks or anything, but just like, I just her aura, mm-hmm. I feel like it's just a lot better than any of those actors in yeah. this movie. She she does have a big presence. That's that's why I said like, um, she's she's done a lot of work, and I've seen a few of the other things she's done, but I couldn't place much other than off of her Disney stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know she's been doing a lot more, uh, especially in like music. I know she started as like a backup dancer, I think, when she was really young on Disney, and then she got to be in a lead role. Um, hmm. So yeah, she's she's done a lot. Interesting. Well, uh, my appreciation for the film. Uh, well, I can always appreciate <laughs> Bella Thor. <laughs> um. um I can appreciate. Uh, I. So this is a. I would love to say this is like a an independent movie. Definitely mm-hmm. feels that way. It has that look, and this is the one of the things I hate, but also can somewhat kind of admire about Netflix is that they let any film be on their stuff, and I do mm-hmm. believe that more the more filmmakers can have access to different streaming platforms to get their stories out, their vision, their artwork. Mm -hmm. I think that's a definitely a positive thing, but also like, I feel like this shouldn't, this should be on Tubi TV, not Netflix. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) No. So I can appreciate, I guess just the indie, the indie feel of it indie actors all these actors because at the time i think bella thorne was not really no this was one of the big i think this was one of the first bigger things she did outside of disney because she was on disney um i think <clears throat> it was close to around like 2009 to 2012 mm-hmm. so like this is like one of the first bigger things she did after that yeah and this is at the point where Netflix was like a huge thing, kind of like a big deal. So I can appreciate that this this is kind of like the gateway for people or for the actors to get their Mm -hmm. foot into the door of acting. Mm -hmm. In a sense. So, yeah, I guess that's what I can appreciate, I guess. (laughs) I mean, I can always appreciate Queen, too. I really do love that Oh, yeah. No, they they definitely put the budget into that with, you know, the flying car. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, Honestly, that's that's probably a, you know, that's can, that's gonna be the most of it. <laughs> yeah, I can appreciate that. I cannot appreciate the spiders. Fucking hated that. Um, <laughs> there were so many. <laughs> oh my god! Thank like they were god. they were, there was like one on his shoulder at the time, and there was like one on his chest, like while he was crawling through, and like he didn't even he was oh not even god. phased. Like he god. he did not even like react to it, and that like sent shivers on my back. Like I hated that. I feel like this is probably really crazy. If I was his age and someone told me, like, yo, you can have a babysitter for life and it'll be Bella Thorne, but you got to crawl through this space with all these spiders. <laughs> I don't, I, I feel like it's 50 50 for me. I might, I might do it. You got to catch you on a really good day. Yeah. It's just like, blindfold me and I will do it oh I think the blindfold would be worse right right so oh I totally forgot to ask <laughs> to, to, about your podcast which I'll definitely oh. put it in the beginning of the episode <laughs> yeah that's fine um, yeah my, my podcast TV RPG I, I recently shortened the title of it uh, because it was really long and like the extra <laughs> words made it sound fancy. It was just um, not concise. So now it's just TV RPG, where we play uh, 
TTRPG games, mostly uh, Dungeons and Dragons, fifth edition, and we um, craft our campaign story uh, based off of TV shows that um, we enjoy. Our current campaign and first campaign is based off of uh, Strange Days of Blake Holsey High. That is amazing. I love that show. Mm -hmm. I've always been interested to play Dungeons and Dragon, but I've just mm -hmm. never, never had the opportunity. Yeah, I actually uh, got into it because um, a couple years ago I did NaNoWriMo, which is the National Novel Writing Month. Um, and to figure out how to write some of the fight scenes, I was like, oh, I'll just watch people that play D&D &D when they like describe their fighting. And then from that, from watching it, I realized it'd be so easy to just run a game myself. And here we are. Mm. Well, that's awesome. Um, thank you again for being a part of this podcast. This has been quite the experience. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. This was very fun. Um, yeah, I got to face my fears today. And I think <laughs> I found a new actress that I'm definitely going to be watching a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> well there you go you get something out of everything you know yeah absolutely so starfighters that is the podcast uh if you're watching this on youtube leave a comment below if you're listening to this wherever you find your podcast leave a review but until then i will see you on the next one victory or death starfighters victory or death <laughs>